Hello everyone, this is me again, Teacher Or, and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to discuss to you another lesson in statistics, which is all about finding the sample mean, sample variance, and sample standard deviation. But before that, please allow me to emphasize that the symbols used in sample mean, sample variance, and sample standard deviation is different to the symbols used in population mean, population variance, and population standard deviation. Okay, look at the pictures. Ito yung pinagkaiba. Ito yung mga symbols na ginagamit sa samples at yung mga symbol naman na ginagamit sa population. Okay? So first, let us solve finding the sample mean. Okay, in sample mean, the simple use, ang simple na ginagamit dito sa sample mean ay x bar. Ito yung sample mean natin. Okay? Kung sa population ay mu, dito naman sa sample mean ay x bar. So, that is the sample mean. It signifies sample mean. Okay, the formula in getting the sample mean is just the summation of x over the number of data. Kung ilan lahat ang data. Okay, i-add lang natin lahat ng data dito at bibilangin natin kung ilan sila, yun yung magiging n natin. Okay, let's start solving the sample mean. Okay, let's add first the data. 4 plus 12 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 20, and plus 25. You can use your calculator to make um, your calculation easier. So the result is 160. 160. Over, ano yung n natin? Our n is 10. Since we have 10 data here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is our um, value of n is 10. So our mean is 160 divided by 10 the result is 16 so this is our mean sample mean okay in getting the sample variance and sample standard deviation we are we are going to get first the difference of the data or the x and its mean okay so the second column will be the x minus the mean. Okay? So, let's start. 4, our mean is 16. So, 4 minus 16, the result is negative 12. 12 minus 16, the result is negative 4. 14 minus 16 is equal to negative 2. 15 minus the mean, which is 16. The result is negative 1. 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. 17 minus 16 is equal to 1. 18 minus 16 is equal to 2. 19 minus 16 is equal to 3. 20 minus 16 is equal to 4. And 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. Okay. So, there is our second column. In the third column naman, we are going to get the square of the result of the difference of x and the mean. So, we are going to square. So, x minus the mean, then square. Square lang natin yung result. So, let's start. Negative 12 square or negative 12 times neg negative 12, the result is 144. Negative times negative is equal to positive. Next, negative 4 square or negative 4 times negative 4, the result is positive 16. Then negative 2 square is equal to 4. Negative 1 square is equal to 1. 0 square is equal to 0. 1 square is equal to 1. 2 square 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 3 square. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 4 square. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. And 9 square 
9 times 9 is equal to 81. So we are done getting the square of its difference and now we are going to add or let's find the sum. Okay, so the summation of x minus its mean square is equal to, let's, uh, let's add the results now. 144 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 81. The result is 276. Okay. Bakit ba natin kinuha ito? Kasi the formula, in, we can use this one in getting the sample variance. And the formula in getting the sample variance is, okay, ang symbol naman, sa, bar, sa sample variance ay S squared. Ito naman ang symbol ha. Ito yung symbol na ginagamit natin ni sample variance. So kapag makita ka ng simbolo na to na S squared, it signifies sample variance. Okay? So the formula in getting the sample variance, niyon summation of x minus the mean square divided by n minus 1. So that is the formula in getting the sample variance. That is the sample Okay. Kaya nga natin, kinakuha itong x minus, x, uh, x minus mean square at its summation so that we can directly substitute the result to the equation. Okay? So, ano yung summation of the quantity of x minus the mean square natin? The result is 276. So, simply substitute 276 over what is our n? Our n is 10 since we have 10 data here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 10 minus 1. Okay? So, 276 divided by 9. The result is what is our variance? Our sample variance. 276 divided by 9. The result is 30.67. So, this is now our sample variance. Sample variance. Sample variance. And the standard deviation, again, standard deviation is just the square root of variance. So, the standard deviation, S naman, is just the square root of sample variance. And our variance is 30.67. And the square root of 30.67 so, our standard deviation is round off to two decimal place. The result is 5.54. So, this is now our sample standard deviation. The, the sample mean, sample variance, and sample standard deviation. In sample variance and in sample standard deviation, mayroon tayong dalawang formula in getting the sample variance. Okay? So, this is the first formula. Ito yung first formula natin. And sa next naman, next video, I will discuss solving the sample variance using the second formula. So, please take note. Our sample variance is 30.67. And our sample standard deviation is 5.54. So let's try to solve sample variance and sample standard deviation with the same data or with the same given gamit yung pangalawang formula. Gamit natin yung pangalawang formula. So same data tayo. Okay, the second formula in getting the sample variance is S squared is equal to N summation of X squared minus
Okay. This is the second formula in getting the sample variance. Okay. Kung napapansin nyo, may dalawang summation of x dito. Summation of x na yung square nasa loob ng parenteses. Samantala yung pangalawa naman, summation of x na nasa labas yung parenteses. Okay. So we have our x. These are, these are our x. So yung unang gawin natin, let, we are going to find the square. Okay? So we are going to find the square of this um, data. Okay? 4 square. 4 times 4 is 16. 12 square. 12 square is 144. 14 square is 196. 15 square or 15 times 15, 225. 16 square, 16 times 16 is 256. 17 square, 17 square is 289. 18 square is 324. And 19 square is 361. And 20 square is 400. And lastly, 25 square is 625. Okay, and yung ginawa natin dito, we just simply square the data. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we are going to find their sum. Okay, so the sum. The summation of x is equal to, let's add, 4 plus 12. 4 plus 12 plus 14 plus 15, plus 16, plus 17, plus 18, plus 19, plus 20, and plus 25, the result is 160. This is our summation of x because we are only adding the values of x. So summation of x is 160. While the summation of x squared Summation naman yung x square natin. 16 plus 144 plus 196 plus 225 plus 256 plus, plus 289 plus 324 plus 361 plus 400 plus 625. The result is 2,836. Okay? Again, the summation of x is 160, while the summation of x square is 2,836. Bakit natin kinuha mga bagay na to? So that we can simply substitute these given values to our equation. Equation in getting the sample variance. Okay? Using this formula, using this formula of sample variance, let's now solve its variance. Okay? So our variance, sample variance, what is our n? Our n is 10 since we have 10 data in the given. Okay? Wag, do, not, do not be confused with these two values because dito, nasa loob dito si square, nasa loob ng parenthesis si square dito. So we are going to use the value of first or second. Summation of x squared. Summation of x squared. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Summation of x squared. Summation of x squared. So, substitute the value of summation of x squared, which is 2, 8, 3, 6. Okay? Minus the summation of x. Summation of x natin. Summation of x is 160. Then, copy the square. Again, do not change anything from the equation. Simply substitute the values. Okay? So next, our n is 10 minus 10 minus 1. I mean, 10 times the quantity of 10 minus 1. Okay? So next, let's apply the PEMDAS. So we are going to simplify this first. 10 times 2, 8, 3, 6. The result is 28,360. Minus square. We are going to square 160. Or 160 times 160. The result is 25,000.
600. All over 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. So, apply the step-by-step -step process class in mathematics para hindi kayo maguluhan sa pagko-compute. So, next. Substitute. I mean, subtract. Let's subtract. 28360 minus 25600. The result is 2760 over 90. So, let's now divide. Therefore, our variance is 2760 divided by 9. So, our variance is, I mean, divided by 90. Again, so our variance, 2760 divided by 90. So, our sample variance is 30.67. So, this is now our sample variance. Okay, next. Okay, let's get the standard deviation. So, the formula in getting the standard deviation again is just the square root of variance. Okay? So, our variance is 30.67. Square root of 30.67. Therefore, our sample standard deviation is 5.55. O, di ba? Kung napapansin nyo, the results are just the same. So, depending on the formula that you are using. We have the first formula in getting the sample variance. And this is the formula in getting the second. Uh, this is the second formula in getting the sample variance. And that's all for this video class. I hope you learned something. Another lesson in statistics or in mathematics. And if you do, Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for you to be notified for more and more and more and more videos to come. Thank you for watching.